So we are at the point now where I gotta leave Thailand. Overseas, couple G's and expenses. Gotta get it, I've been different since the entrance. Alright, we are at the one main hotel in Bangkok. You see, we got the mirror right there. Nice little hotel though right here, man. Nice setup. Got a nice big TV couch area right there. The bedroom area right here. Nice big bed. It's a nice hotel though. Bathroom right here. Something light, something light, but a cool little hotel room though for a couple days. Cool little hotel room. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Happy birthday to you, Daddy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Say happy birthday to you. I got a gift too. Open it. Okay. I open for you. You open it for me. Oh, it's the one in the Please fill my cup Am I really asking for much? It's been a long week, I'm looking for fun Please fill my cup Find me under the sun SOS I'm just looking for a good time Alright y'all, so This is the birthday vlog We are starting the vlog off In the Tuk Tuk In Bangkok Headed to go get some food from a place we tried before and I thought it was really good. So I figure I'll go back since we in Bangkok. So Lucky told me today she not gonna she not gonna say nothing. She just gonna go along with whatever. She just gonna smile. Uh yeah. <laughs> I don't even think she liked the food of where we going, but she gonna eat it just cause so it's okay, man. Thank hey, you. Birthday. B and L Mai Tai it was like a bartender's favorite on the menu, so I grabbed that. See how that tastes. I like this little artwork right here. It got. Oh, you gonna do it too? Got a happy birthday, you all day. All day? Yeah. Okay, well, thank all you. All day, all night, I'm gonna show that. <laughs> <laughs> she got a uh, lucky, got an over the moon. How it tastes? Strong? Mm hmm. <laughs> Look at that lobster roll right there. Oh my god. Look at the lobster. Look at the lobster. Look at the lobster. Come with the fries. Got the little sauce to pour over it right there. Oh my god. Oh yeah, Happy I'm about to crush birthday. this. Huh? Happy birthday. <laughs> Lucky got Lucky got some mac and cheese right there. Lobster mac. Lobster mac and cheese. The mac and cheese that look good too i gotta try some of that i'm not even a mac and cheese all right so we are about to hop on the bts as you know bangkok is a very very big city two million more people than new york city and they utilize public transportation just as much so how they got the subways in new york they got the bts in bangkok it's my first time hopping on it but we're gonna show y'all the process let's get it yeah my first time Hop on the BTS. Yeah. So I used to hop on the train a lot. Like when I stayed in Korea, I used to always hop on the train. My first time hopping on a train in Thailand, because you know, they don't really have the BTS in. They don't have a BTS at all in the Thai. So it's really the only place where you're going to be able to get the BTS experience. Alright, so we're grabbing the tickets from right here. 
Very cheap though, it's like 47 baht. 47 baht for both of us. So. Because you have a Thai BTS, very cheap. Mm -hmm. but, but, but not gonna stop on your hotel, but you know, gonna stop near your hotel. Yeah, so this won't necessarily take you exactly to your destination, but it's very, very cheap and affordable option, and it will take you very close to your destination. And you can either walk or catch a cheaper cab when you get to your location. All right, we just came in. I see everybody going in through there. You see this? Yeah. That's the way we going. Yeah, but not on the But the yeah. way we go is that way. Yeah. All right, so we're going up here on that escalator. If you go on the other side, you're gonna go to the long. Yeah, it's going opposite way. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, man, we up here. BTS. All right, so we right here. We about to go all the way here. So eight stops. man we fresh off at our stop watch the train get up out of here you say so, you want to go on this long time i give you this birthday yeah i have been talking about going on the bts for a while so yeah man that was pretty cool pretty cool man reminded me of father, good old soul father, career yeah yeah. Father, no life. yeah very fast up here very fast so that was our bts experience oh, very far very yeah. like nice nice stop Nice uh -huh. top 47 baht. Yeah. Nice top. Yeah, man. So it was very cheap. 47 baht one way. Pretty Whoa. good. Pretty good. So now we're about to go on down here and head on back to the spot. All right, man. It's New Year's Eve. It's New Year's Eve. We're about to start out with a little New Year's dinner. And then we're going to see what else we get into. Yeah, it's just yeah, the house. It's like fruit punch. Lucky in the black. All black. All black. Okay. Happy New Year's Eve. Happy New Year. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we at the bear house right now eating a little bit. About to get our drinks and stuff. All right. So, we got the steak right here. The mashed potatoes. This steak looks a little too red for me. I'm not even going to lie. We watched Celtic Rangers. Oh, yeah. yeah. What you got over here? Beef. Yeah. My favorite thing is Celtic. Okay. They drink with their beef, so yeah, man. Real red steak, though. I don't know. Yes, sir. See the pool back here. This is dope. This is dope. This is dope right here. This pool. Pretty big. Pretty big, man. This is nice. New Year's vibe. Oh, happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hey. Seven. One, two, three. Five. Four, 
lot of bullets in this thing right here. You can't be all this so bad. You scared? Yeah. yeah. I never hold this in my hand. That's why I do like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is my hand. You, 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 you got it. You got it. You got it. Oh, it's over there. It's over there. So you're finished too? Oh, Lord. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah. Happy, happy New Year to y'all, man. 2024, I wish you guys nothing but the best and success in anything that you do. It's going to be a great year and hope you guys enjoyed your holiday season. So, as an expat, the most important thing is your visa. Now, that's your lifeline to be able to stay in a country. That's the thing that controls how you're kind of able to move in these different countries. And it's very important as an expat. And throughout 2023, the visa situation has gotten a lot tighter in Thailand, which is kind of forcing for some changes. Now, I've done videos before, and if you look back, you'll see the visa video. In Thailand, there are a couple different visa options for you. It's very limited and before COVID Thailand was known as one of the places with the most strictest visa rules but during COVID they kind of softened it but now that COVID is over and there's so many people coming they're kind of getting back tight onto the visa situation. If you're over 50 you don't have to worry about anything that I'm about to talk about because you will be able to get a retirement visa at the age of 50 and you won't have to go through any of this. You can just get your retirement visa and you'll be cool. Unfortunately for me I got a long way to go before I'm 50, so that doesn't really do anything for me. There are two types of long-term visas in Thailand that you can stay on under the age of 50. So you have the official Thai visa, which is the elite visa, and that is the official visa. That is, if you want to come to Thailand and you're under 50 and you want to stay long-term, that is the visa that the Thai government wants you to get. That is their official visa. Now, the thing is with that visa, that visa used to be 10,000 USD and they have raised it now. Now it's 20,000 US dollars. No! But that is the main option and if you're willing to do that visa, that is the visa you will want to go for. Now, outside of that, you have the education slash sports visa. It's like you can learn the Thai language, or you can do Muay Thai training. And those are both considered education. They're two different visas. One is a fight visa and one is a education visa, but both have the same rules. Now, these are the most popular options amongst expats because it's not as much and it's a long-term visa. This is the visa that I picked. I picked the Muay Thai visa and I've talked about it a few times in my video. But for me, when I got the visa, it had to be multi-entry because not only do I have to go back to the States every now and then, see my family, but I also want to travel around, man. This is Travel Versity. I want to show y'all a bunch of different things, show y'all different countries, and I need a home base that will allow me to be able to fly in and out and be able to not only see other things for myself, but see other things for you guys too and show you guys. So it had to be multi-entry. So when I got this visa, I was told that it was a multi-entry visa. I'm like, okay, it's multi-entry, cool. So I got that visa thinking that it's a multi-entry visa. Fast forward, you guys seen we went to Vietnam. Now, if you were around for the Vietnam videos, you seen we went to Vietnam. And before we went to Vietnam, I asked the visa agency like, okay, it's cool if I leave for this time going to Vietnam, right? They're like, yeah, it's cool, but you can only stay up to two weeks. So I'm thinking, okay, well, that's a little inconvenient because I wasn't told that before I got the visa, but it is what it is too. I don't mind leaving for two weeks and coming back. I don't mind doing that. Even though it was inconvenient, it is what it is. I'll deal with it. So you guys seen we went to Vietnam. Vietnam was fun. Now, the next trip we went on was Bali. If you guys remember, we went to Bali. So we went to Bali, stayed in Bali for about two weeks as well. Now, on the way back from Bali, at the border, they're kind of like looking at my visa like, oh, we think your visa is canceled. But they ended up kind of letting me back in. And I think just because Lucky was with me, they kind of like let me in anyway, even though I felt like they didn't want to. So I go talk to my visa company like, what's going on with the visa? Like, I thought you guys told me I could go as long as I come back before two weeks. And they're like, no, it's two weeks for the entire year. So you can only leave 
Thailand for two weeks out of the entire year with this visa, which doesn't really work for me. I need to be able to go and come freely. Like that's the kind of situation that I thought I was getting into, which I realized then I wasn't. But I do understand because those are education visas. They're meant for you to be learning something. So you're not really learning or taking learning serious if you're leaving all the time. So I understand that and I get it. Those visas aren't really meant for you to be coming and going. They're kind of meant for you to be learning something. So I get it. I understand. I just wish I was told that at the beginning. So that was in about August when I realized, well, seems like we're gonna have to find another home base just because the visa situation isn't really working here and that's a very important part of being an expat these are like the little nuances within this expat life that sometimes you know they just don't go in your favor and you kind of got to just roll with the punch so fast forward to about a week and a half ago right before christmas it was time for my final extension so how these visas work is even if you have a year visa every three months you basically go report and you get an extension for three months so it's three months three months three months like that so last week i'm on my ninth month and it's about a day before i'm supposed to extend for my final three months and i get a call and they say well the 12 month visa that you have is no longer available now we can only do nine months well i'm at my ninth month right now They're like yeah well you gotta leave and come back and we'll figure out so now at this point there's been like multiple instances of like just different little situations that have led to them finally being like all right well yeah now you gotta leave but as you guys seen my mom was also here visiting at the same time so it was like i couldn't just drop everything and leave right at that moment so i kind of went into an overstay mode which you never want to do you never want to overstay your visa because a lot of countries can ban you if you overstay too long you're getting fines and all that type of stuff so you never really want to overstay your visa and that's the situation i kind of got myself into because I didn't really want to leave until my mom went back home. So we are at the point now where I got to leave Thailand for a little bit. And in the future, going into 2024, we will probably be transitioning away from Thailand as a home base. Now, we'll always be in and out of Thailand. We'll always be visiting Thailand. But as far as it being a main home base or how you've seen me staying here for a year at a time or months and months and months at a time, we're gonna transition away from that. We're gonna start being in some other places and we are about to start the search for our new home. And I got a few places in mind, but this is just what this channel is, man. You're watching the life of a younger expat figuring it all out and the visa situation is a big deal and i do love thailand but it's kind of like being at a house party like imagine being at a house party and you having fun but the people that own the house kind of looking at you like all right when he leaving and i get it i mean when i got here during covid there was really no tourism so they were more lean on the visa rules because they wanted to keep the people here that was here but now after covid man there's people from all over the world trying to move to Thailand, the digital nomad thing and all that, man. There's a lot of people now trying to come to Thailand and the country understands that a lot of people want to live here. And there are other countries out there that have visa laws and visa rules that are way more accommodating for expat and even younger expats like myself there are some countries where i can get a retirement visa there are some countries where it's just way easier to stay for a long period of time we still gonna be in thailand for a while like i got a few months still left on the lease here so lucky will not be going with me on this trip just because i'm about like a week into overstay on my visa right now i'm probably gonna have to pay a fine or something and i really just don't know how immigration is gonna act as i'm leaving as i'm trying to come back and i really don't want to get her caught up into anything with immigration and all that stuff so she's just gonna sit this one out and i'm gonna go and try to figure out what's the next home of the channel and I probably should have been keeping you guys updated on all this type of stuff as it was happening because as an expat, it's not always beaches and nice views. And it's sometimes it's the tedious stuff like visas and stuff that are really, really important to your ability to be able to live this life. 
So yeah, man, that's what it is. I didn't plan on making this video this soon, but it's kind of got forced to this point. And I know y'all love Thailand. Like I said, we always gonna be in and out of Thailand, but we gonna add some new flavor to the channel. And I kind of wanted to do that anyway. Lucky also wanted to spend a lot of time outside of Thailand as well. So man, I hope y'all continue to enjoy, continue to support the channel, even with the change. Just know, no matter where we go, we always gonna bring you guys. We always gonna show you guys the sights. We always gonna show you guys everything. All right, well, I made it through the gate, even though I got a big interrogation and I had to pay a fine and it took like an hour and a half for me to get through all of that, which I kind of expected, but it's all good. I paid the fine. Now, we are at the airport and I was always asking myself, where would I live if I had to leave Thailand? And I think I got somewhere in mind. So, let's go. Overseas, couple G's and expenses. Gotta get it, I've been different since the entrance. 